Girlfriend, tell me that I should probably get myself checked out. <laughs> I was very socially responsible of her, but we broke up a year ago. Could have done with that information a little bit sooner. But anyway, I went to I went to the VD clinic. You know, it was this tiny little room. There's a couple of other guys in there. We're all sat visibly ashamed, as we should be. And uh, and these three young guys walk in. They're like, well, hey, VD clinic. Oh, naughty boy, you lad. <laughs> Will you be shagging them then? Come on, what's your name? What's your name? And I'm just trying to sink into my chair. So please, please stop talk, talking to me. Luckily at that point, the nurse called me in. She started asking me the same questions. <laughs> she was like, uh, are you are you sexually active? I'm like, you heard of that? Have you had have you had unprotected sex in the last 12 months? And I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Have you had unprotected anal sex in the last 12 months? No. And then I'm thinking, why did I just learn? <laughs> I'm in the VD clinic. This is where I need to be being honest, right? But she moves on. She goes, right, well, you're symptomless. We'll just take a urine sample this time and we'll see how that goes. There's no need to do anything invasive. And I'm thinking, yeah. But you don't have all the information. <laughs> how do I go back now, right? Without making it seem like I'd lie. Like, oh, fuck. There was a one time I had an unprotected anal sex. Uh, it was an accident. Some people forgot about it. Um, <laughs> what happened was, like, my, my girlfriend, she uh, she got out of the shower and she, she dropped her towel and uh, she bent down to pick it up. But I was, and I was walking past and I stepped on a roller skit. <laughs> she didn't believe me. Uh, my girlfriend's mad at me though. Um, but I didn't even know she was mad, right? Until a couple of hours later, she brought me that cup of tea. We made deliberately badly. So, oh, thank you very much. Did you? Did you put the water in before the tea bag? No. What have I done? Right, you can be mad at me. Don't fuck with the tea. <laughs> I love tea, right? You don't put the water in first, you don't put the sugar in last, and you don't stir it anti-clockwise. I can taste that. <laughs> now, some people have cigarettes, some people got alcohol, right? I've got tea, right? Tea and crack, that's my thing. <laughs> she shouldn't mess with me, because I'm skinny. I have learned through a lack of mass to change my brain to get back at people, right? So I waited. My girlfriend got in the shower. Before I put on my roller skates, <laughs> I went around her house and I moved everything she owns, every object, item, and possession, three inches to the left. <laughs> Initially, just to disorient her, but ultimately, as part of a long plan to convince her that her house was suffering from some psychics. <laughs> Don't mess with skinny people, you don't mess with anybody, that an automatic door won't open for. <laughs> you can tell us all sighting up to Tesco's, terrified that we'll be denied entry to a supermarket by the world's most primitive bouncer. <laughs> you don't look like you eat a lot. <laughs> Fuck off. It's hard being skinny though, right? You're not very intimidating. You know, half of me knows this. Half of me knows you're not the biggest chap in the world, you're not quite polite and quite intelligent, not exactly the rough and tumble sort. The other half of me, though, is from the valleys in Wales. <laughs> and it forces me to try and prove my manliness at every point. For instance, this fucking year. <laughs> what have I done there? <laughs> I look 
like a fucking pirate. <laughs> Not even a proper pirate, like a cast of glee did Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> that's what they would stick on their arm. And not that sort of person. If you show me a photograph of a clenched... <laughs>